Now I'll show you another fluency skill. This one is called relaxed breathing and relaxed vocal folds. Take off the side device and lean back in your chair. Put one hand on your stomach and you should feel your stomach move out as you inhale and in as you exhale. This is called diaphragmatic breathing or relaxed breathing. In contrast, you you should not do upper chest breathing, which is also called thoracic breathing. With upper chest breathing, your stomach moves in as you inhale and out as you, you exhale. Upper chest breathing makes you, you feel tense. In contrast, Diaphragmatic breathing makes you feel relaxed. Normal speech uses upper chest breathing. This enables you to get more air into your lungs and to hold back the, the air so you can talk longer and longer and longer on a breath without pausing for, for an, another breath. This also, <coughs> with, uh, n with normal speech, you take a quick inhalation and then your exhalation time is slow. You also have fewer breaths per m m minute. And you're, you're also tensing your upper chest muscles and your throat muscles so that you can hold back the, the air in your lungs. Speaking with diaphragmatic breathing is not normal. But in speech therapy, your speech language pathologist has you speak in, in abnormal ways that enable you to produce fluent speech. Practice relaxed diaphragmatic breathing for a few minutes. Then, keeping one hand on your stomach, put your other hand on your throat and say, ah. Feel your vocal folds vibrating as you say, ah. You'll have one hand on your stomach, feeling your relaxed diaphragmatic breathing, and your other hand on your throat, feeling your vocal folds vibrating. Ah. Practice this for a few minutes. Now turn those ahs uh, into words by moving your lips, jaw, and tongue. For example, I am an As I said, in, in speech therapy, your speech language pathologist trains you to speak in abnormal ways that produce fluent speech. Your goal is not to speak like this everywhere. Rather, your goal is to find something that is in between this very relaxed, slow speech. Uh, and the normal fast tense speech that you uh, 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 n n n normally use, w w w which, which leads to, to, to stuttering. Um, perhaps you might find that you're able to find speech that is in between, which is a little bit slower and a little bit more relaxed and a little bit deeper pitch, but sounds perfectly normal without the stuttering you would have if you, if you were speaking faster and more tensely. 
Well, let's take this relaxed breathing and relaxed vocal folds to the extreme. Note that as you relax your breathing and relax your vocal folds, your pitch drops. Well, let's do a scale. And let's try to talk at the very bottom of that scale. Your voice should sound very deep here and your vocal folds very relaxed and your breathing very relaxed. Adult men can get their voices down quite low, although women and children are not going to be able to get anywhere near this low. You, although women might want to remember that Loren Bacall had a high voice until a director trained her to talk with a, a deep, sexy voice. Let's do one more thing with this relaxed breathing and relax vocal folds. Put on your device and adjust the FAF to the lowest setting. You should hear your voice in the headphones very deep. If you tune in to this deep, relaxed voice, it should be very easy for you to relax your breathing and relax your vocal folds.